welcome back to my channel i am natty v as always i'm very happy to have you guys here so today's video will be based on a triple t t talk time so t talk time is the time in my channel where we sit down have a cup of tea and talk about a certain topic while i give my personal and general opinion about it uh so far so good we have talked about self-sabotage, perception, perceiving, and being perceived. And today's what today's topic is simply navigating social exclusion and uh, building self-worth. So uh, get your tea to so get the tea. Bang on us. So this video will basically try to understand how social exclusion can be affected by feeling accepted and being left behind and how all these aspects can diminish our self-confidence or can cause us to struggle with self-confidence. Understanding social exclusion. Personally, I think social exclusion is a feeling of being left out, unimportant or ignored by a certain group of people we wish to be part of or, which, or a certain group of people we identify with. This can arise in different contexts. It can arise among peer or social circles, etc. Nowadays, social exclusion can be expressed by not being chosen for a project or not being invited to an event we wish to be part of or just feeling invisible in social settings. And all of these feelings can cause, can provoke or can cause us to have anxiety or anxiety or form or fear of missing out anxiety which can cause us to self-sabotage and cause us stress a certain form of stress because we constantly have this fear of uh, being judged or we anticipate rejection and anxiety <laughs> oh let's try to understand what is being left behind being left behind can cause social withdrawal not social exclusion it actually causes social withdrawal so let's try to understand the psychological impact of being left behind so being left behind is simply a feeling of stagnation which is caused by constantly comparing yourself with other people and uh, that makes us feel like we are not moving Jeez, what about while other people are moving ahead this feel like a feeling of being having a stop or like you are not moving from where you were or your goals are not you're not accomplishing the goals you actually think you had to accomplish in a certain given amount of time so this feeling can cause negative emotions like the feeling of hopelessness the feeling of inadequacy and this also diminish our self-worth and all of the and all of this feeling can easily cause us to socially withdraw ourselves because we prefer just to deal with the situation by yourself than to be in a group of people so this can cause us to socially withdraw ourselves so let's try to understand the contents of self-confidence. Self-confidence is simply believing in one's abilities and being assured to facing all of the challenges in life with all the resilience. It's more of a I am, I can, I face this with all the resilience and power because I know that I can do it. It's simply believing your abilities. Self-confidence is simply believing your abilities to do a tax. I mean, it can be hard, but you believe in your abilities, like no matter what, I am and I can do these certain things and I will do it. And putting in the work and everything because you believe in your abilities. Face it, fix it, make it better. Build belief, build confidence to the point where nothing can hurt you because you know exactly who you are. You've faced your demons. You were able to hear all your past traumas. I'm no longer embarrassed. I'm no longer ashamed. Being ashamed is one of the biggest things that kill people nowadays. So let's talk about how um, social exclusion and uh, being left behind can diminish our self-confidence. It makes us doubt our abilities. 
because self-confidence is just believing in abilities and uh, being assured to take um, a certain challenge with all the resilience and power and etc and positivity we can while if we don't um if we are not able to face the challenge after putting in all the effort to face the challenge it makes us to doubt our abilities and um, reduces the value of what we believe in like i believe that this could be but it's not it causes to have low self-esteem and self-doubt self-sabotage and um a few moments later low self-esteem can be manifested by in various ways like maybe the reluctance to take on new challenges because like you just feel like if i could not do this even though i put in all the effort and all the positivity i could so why should i take another um why should i take another challenge if my abilities were not able to help me in the the first challenge that i took and it's like self confidence i mean low self-confidence low self-esteem can cause us to have this fear of failure i mean failure is something that we have to learn how to learn from it not to be afraid of it i mean failure is something that happens so low self-esteem is going to make you to be scared to fail and withdraw you socially withdraw yourself and it's going to cause you to miss opportunities like you'll be af you'll be af afraid to take on new challenges and this can cause you to miss opportunities of something you could do and you do not because you were scared to fail it's like a form of trauma want to know who is to blame for your low self-esteem yes close your eyes and i'll show you okay open <gasps> That's right. Mirrors. No. Uh, personally, I think that uh, life is more of a roller coaster. At times we are up, at times we are down, at times we are in the middle. We just have to take on each challenge with all the positivity we can and um, just put in all the effort, put in your 100% and just see where it takes you, where it takes you and not to be afraid of what it might be i mean it's like a form of anxiety of maybe being scared of what will happen but just taking the challenges with all the positivity okay so i've tried to understand the complexity of social exclusion being left behind and how it can diminish our self-worth so now let's talk about strategies to navigate social exclusion and to build self self-worth is are complex emotions which requires many approaches. okay the first strategy we're going to talk about is self-awareness and acceptance developing self-awareness is the first step towards addressing the feeling of social exclusion and low self-esteem it the uh, self-awareness allow us to recognize and acknowledge our strengths uh, I mean, generally, it helps us to accept our emotions without judging our emotions, and it allow us to. So it also allow us to accept our flaws and uh, our strength. It generally allow us to accept ourselves, self acceptance. Okay, the second strategy we're going to talk about is building resilience. Building resilience can be related to self acceptance because. Building resilience is simply the ability to bounce back after a setback, to bounce back from setbacks. Building resilience involves developing coping strategies to handle rejections and exclusions. I mean, it can be anything, it can be pursuing new hobbies. And um, resilience gives us a sense of fulfillment to handle situations, to handle setbacks or rejection or exclusion etc okay the third strategy we're going to talk about is setting realistic goals setting achievable realistic goals can 
easily boost our sense of achievement when i talk about realistic goals it simply uh goals that we can easily achieve like it can be like a daily routine like um goals daily goals like today i have to do these 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 and these and these achievement kind of boosts our self-confidence it gives us a sense of accomplishment and uh, it enhances our self-worth and give us more confidence let's talk about the fourth strategy this fourth strategy is limiting social comparison personally i think social comparison is very natural but excessive social comparison can be detrimental to one's mental health it is very important to remember that everybody has their own unique journey to take and uh, we need to learn how to embrace our own journey and accept ourselves. Self-acceptance is very important. At the end of the day, while we're trying to focus to develop ourselves mentally, psychologically, physically, emotionally, and all of the least that exist, we need to learn how to celebrate our small victories, no matter how small it is. This uh this activity i mean this habit will help us to reduce the negative impact of social comparison because it helps us to accept ourselves better and um just be the best version of ourselves uh and yeah no matter how yeah the fifth and last strategy we're going to talk about is practicing self-compassion practicing self-compassion is simply saying don't self-sabotage being kind to oneself is very crucial in building self-worth we need to learn how to understand our and acknowledge our emotions our struggles our imperfection without harshly self-criticism i mean self-criticism at times helps us to develop certain i mean self-criticism is can be positive or negative, but don't hash, don't be harsh on yourself. No, no, no! It's good to learn how to. At the end of the day, self acceptance is very important because everything we have talked about is related to self acceptance. Accepting yourself, accepting your imperfections, accepting your highs, your lows, your roller coaster moments, accepting all of the roller coaster moments is very crucial so we have talked about all of the five i mean there are many other strategies that can't be mentioned but this for me i personally think these are the most important strategies when we talk about trying to build self-worth and uh, accepting social exclusion and accepting our emotions i think these are the most important strategies so if maybe you have uh other strategies you think can be mentioned you can comment or yeah you can give your, your opinion in the comment section uh below etc and uh yeah conclusion self-confidence helps us to be more grounded about who we are and believe in our abilities better than ever so if you have come to the end of this video don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to uh, to uh, comment in the section comment in the comment section below comment your opinions about what you think about self-confidence about social exclusion about being left behind and um yeah just give your opinion about the topic we've talked about so if it's your okay so if you have been able to be with us to the end of the video don't forget to subscribe and uh, like and yeah so see you next in our next video. Julie.